Now let's take a look at this last area of the build character's window, which is perhaps the most revolutionary, because it can actually predict how characters are going to relate based on their position in the element chart. For example, if this character represents faith and this one represents disbelief, that creates a diagonal or dynamic relationship, which is the greatest conflict. Clearly, faith and disbelief are the most opposite and therefore in the greatest conflict. But if we move this character into the conscience position, faith and conscience create a relationship that's more companion. They sort of go along together, just like disbelief and temptation. If we take this character and move it down here in temptation, now this character is in a dependency with faith. Faith requires temptation in order to bolster itself, to grow. And temptation requires faith in order to overcome it. So there's a dependency that's growing here. By understanding what these relationships mean, which is covered in the Dramatica Theory book that comes along, included in the software in a special electronic edition, you're able to predict how your characters will relate based on the elements you want them to exhibit as functions in the story. And in fact, you can actually assign them their position based on the relationship that you want and only then determine what dramatic functions they have to represent in order to have those relationships. So in a sense, it works both ways. One final rule of thumb is you really don't want to put the same character in two different places in the same group of four. Why? Because these relationships among elements are hard to show if they're internalized. And if they're represented by characters externally through their relationships one with another, it's a lot easier to make that part of your argument to your audience. As you can see, the Build Characters area is very powerful for constructing truly functional characters in your drama and tailoring them all the way from archetypal characters to simple or complex characters and even typecasting them as stereotypes as well as predicting their relationships and making sure they have all four dimensions. Well, that's an awful lot to understand and an awful lot to do. It's part of the power of Dramatica but you're going to want to study the theory a little bit to know how to use this area in the software to its greatest advantage. But wait, there's more. Now how much would you pay? We still have to go back to the develop characters area and explore the remaining buttons.